How's it going guys? Today, I want to share with you guys my top 5 productivity gesture controls from Better Touch Tools to give you guys an insight on how good this app is. Better Touch Tools works flawlessly if you have a magic mouse or a magic trackpad, which is the standalone peripheral that Apple sells or the same trackpad on your MacBook devices. These two Apple products come packed with gesture controls, but with Better Touch Tools, it unlocks a whole new level of customization. Whether if it's gesture remapping, utilizing every single part of the trackpad or the magic mouse. The level of customization Better Touch Tool has to offer is pretty much endless. That being said, this is a paid app, but it comes with a 45 days free trial, which should be more than enough days to test out the full potential of this app. So without wasting any more time, let's dive right in. Hi, my name is Ken and welcome back to the channel where we talk about filmmaking, photography, gadgets related and tech. If any of these piques your interest, consider subscribing to the channel as you may learn a thing or two from these videos. Starting from the top of the list, at a total of 12,000 usages over the span of 5 months, that is the way I control volume settings using my magic trackpad. To increase or decrease volume settings on my Mac, all I need to do is quite literally rotate clockwise with two fingers to increase the volume, and anti-clockwise to reduce the volume. This gesture itself has been so so helpful as it is such a natural gesture similar to turning a virtual knob to increase and decrease volume. I came from Logitech's M720 triratted mouse that has the center wheel to lean right or lean left to increase or decrease volume settings. But rotating your fingers clockwise and anti-clockwise on a trackpad is way way more fun. And the second most useful utility that comes built in this app without any setting up is Windows Snapping Zone. As you can see right here, the default settings out of the box allows users to snap windows left when you drag the windows to the left border, as well as snapping right when you drag to the right border. Hovering the windows to the top opens up a full size window, and at the corners, a quarter window size will appear at all four corners. That being said, you are still able to customize your own working zones as you please by going to the advanced snap area, which could be very very helpful. So other than actually dragging the windows to the border to actually snap it in place, there is another trick that I am currently using which is to tip tapping with a finger. So with one finger placed on the trackpad, left tapping the trackpad itself would actually snap the windows onto the left side. And same with the right side with one finger placed on the trackpad, a light tap on the right side of the trackpad actually triggers the windows to be snapped to the right. And all of these settings can be found inside Better Touch Tools settings and configurations. So be sure to actually go through all of the settings to actually know what kind of gestures you are provided. There are a ton of features. Third on the list is a very much needed forward and back button for skipping frames when watching YouTube or Netflix. With Better Touch Tools, I am able to simply fast forward 5 seconds by tapping the right side of the trackpad as well as rewind 5 seconds by tapping the bottom of the trackpad. So if you are watching on a browser, the only possible way is to use your keyboard's right arrow key to fast forward 5 seconds or the left arrow key to reverse 5 seconds. But with Better Touch Tools, you get to customize how you want to trigger this function, even mimicking a keyboard's action. You can even place it to the left of the trackpad to rewind, but I find it a little bit more ergonomic not needing to reach the other end of the trackpad to do this simple task. Sitting at number 4 is tapping the top left corner of the trackpad to simply close the application. So I was really really lazy to scroll through a whole bunch of useful preset features and I know specifically what I needed to click on the keyboard to access this shortcut which is command plus W key. So these settings apply to the all app category when I'm in the finders app triggering the top left corner of the trackpad will close the current finders app while I'm in Chrome for example, it will close the current tab that I'm in. So a really small convenient gesture, instead of navigating to this tiny red dot on the top left corner of your windows and adjusting the cursor to hit the red button to close that tab. Single tap on the top left of the trackpad and boom, app close and problem solved. Now moving on to the next customization on the trackpad, that is a simple click on the bottom left of the trackpad to put the computer to sleep. As far as I know, there isn't a keyboard shortcut to put your Mac to sleep other than pressing the power button on your MacBook devices. But hey, I'm using a Mac mini, so the power button will be way out of hand's way and thus this calls for customization. Baked right in the predefined action items, there are some really useful ones, like the one I'm using right now is putting the computer to sleep. 
Triggering the bottom left of the trackpad puts the computer to sleep. I would highly encourage you all to at least scroll through the predefined action items in Better Touch Tools. The list consists of actions like triggering screenshots, turning on and off Bluetooth settings, open launchpad, show desktop, and many, many more. That being said, this is a paid app that goes by purchasing a license. You have the standard license that goes for only $9, which is about 40 ringgit here in Malaysia and the lifetime license for about $21, which is about 90 ringgit. The difference between these two licenses is just updates received on this app. The standard license gets regular updates in the first two years, and you get to keep the app afterwards without any updates, and the lifetime license gets, well, unlimited updates. As for me, I personally got the standard license as I find myself really digging into the vast capability of customizing my own set of productivity gesture control settings. I'm not too worried about future updates as I'm really really well pleased with the one that I'm using right now. So before deciding to purchase this amazing app, try out the free 45 days trial with no sign-ins required to understand and test out if this app is worth the price, especially towards supporting the developer with creating this app. To me personally, I couldn't recommend this enough. And that is all from me for this video. I hope you all found this video insightful. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I'll be sure to get back to you guys as soon as possible. If you are really, really interested to know exactly how I configure each settings on Better Touch Tools, do let me know as well. I will consider making an in-depth tutorial on that. Like the video if you actually enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in. As always, I will catch you all in the next video. Stay safe, peace out, and bye-bye. Thank you.